As we mentioned at the top of the show, National Hispanic Heritage Month kicked off yesterday, and today is National Guacamole Day. I can't think of a better way to celebrate than with a little fiesta right here in the studio. Please welcome to the show Chef Lucero Martinez. Hey, welcome. Thank you. Oh, I'm, are you gracias, kidding? Gracias, gracias. Uh, should, I, should I call you Christina? You, yes. That's, <laughs> that's, that's Christina, right? That's what some family. Right? Yes, okay. yes. At least for the month, and that's what some family members call. So I always okay. tell people, yes, Christina, it is. Um, first of all, let's talk about why it's so important to share your culture uh, during this month and tell everybody where you're from specifically. Well, I'm actually from Mexico, Mexico City, uh, and I'm, I'm very, very proud. You know what? Like when I moved here with my parents, I, I thought I, we were like the only Mexicans. So. Oh. <laughs> And now you're and like, was, okay, that's And now it's like Mexicans yes. everywhere, you know, uh, Hispanic people everywhere. So it's amazing. Like, before, before Highway is like, yes. you know, oh, the fantastic. Like international highway, right? Yes. The yes. fantastic food, um, the culture. Yeah. And, and what ways do you like to celebrate? Uh, well, actually, and, and today is very important for me, too, you know, like because I, I've been here on National Guacamole Day. My dad, for the last 30 years, he was, um, uh, he pushed the avocados from Mexico. So to oh, me, wow. this is like the gold medal. Yeah. Yes. Yes, an yeah, extra so, special day. And very special, too. And, and I, it's also Mexican Independence Day today, too. Oh, well, that, <laughs> that's... Uh, and it's Friday. And it's Friday. What more do we need? Right. Okay, so this guacamole is calling my name, and you are famous for this recipe, and I love that uh, today you're telling us kind of how to elevate it. Yes. Um, so that is like the traditional one, the one that's already made, right? Right. But then she says... The beauty of this is that you can add different things, different flavors that you might not have thought of. So talk right. about what we're doing here today. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do our um, our basic. This is like your base, right? So yes. some good has ripe avocados. Oh, you know. look at that. They are so perfect. Look at this. They're like so, so soft, soft, right? Yes. Yes. So anyway, so this is that. Okay. You can even just like smash it with like your um, oh. just with a fork yes and I mean I like it chunky so I don't me too. I don't go too far so that's it right got it and then you're gonna help me hold the tomatoes at the end you know oh. one thing that I always tell the people is like you know tomatoes they have a lot of water you know themselves so they do. I always write um, go for Roma tomatoes you know Roma tomatoes and thank you end. and if you have a party you know you can do your guacamole ahead of time but right. just hold the tomatoes so when you're when your guests you know, knocks on the door. Yes. Then you just like pull the just tomato put it in. Otherwise, it gets too watery. It so too I watery. love that. You want creamier, right? Creamy, Instead creamy. Watery. So this I'm holding off. Yeah. So okay. we can start with the uh, with the onions. With the onions, and I was telling her before the show, I'm not a huge raw onion person. She told me it's to substitute it with to, uh, chives. Yes. One more. Want. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Okay. okay. Next. And then we can do the um, uh, let's see, the serrano peppers Pe or jalapenos. Ha so serrano. these are serranos. Yes. Okay. And yeah. I like that we're also doing a little bit of sweet. We're adding mangoes, guys. Yeah. Yes, Look at that. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. And then we're going to do some uh, cilantro. The cilantro. Right uh -huh. Okay. All of this? Uh, yeah, just half of it. Half good. of it. Okay. Because I like cilantro, but you know, if, yeah. you're, if you don't, then th that's the beauty of this. And you're always, kind of creating your own. Yes. Always, always. Fresh lime. Fresh, fresh lime I that make, like kicks it to the next level. I make sure I do that. So yes. I'm so happy, Chef. I've, so I've learned. You I've learned. There you okay, go. and now we'll do some salt. A little pinch. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah, you how can about do. this? Bacon. Yeah, we can do that. Oh my gosh. Bacon. Just yeah. So excited. All of that. All right. All right. Now what is this? This looks like and cheese. That's that's uh, queso fresco. Queso fresco. See? <gasps> oh my that's goodness. That's a whole new level, right? Yes. And then uh, then that's tomatoes. It. Oh, and now the tomatoes, right? I almost <laughs> forgot. Because we're just going to fold the tomatoes, and that's it. I'm noticing See? that, look, guys, she doesn't have, in honor of our, I guess, keeping our, our skinny thing right? today, you have the rinds so we rather have, than chips. So we have the rinds. You know why? Because uh, they're like, you know, for people that are holding on the carbs, you know, yeah. rinds, pork rinds, they have like zero calorie, I mean, zero carbs. Zero, right? Mm. And then, uh, of course, you know, you can also like dip it with like your favorite veggies and stuff, you know? So, I didn't bring the chips with that, you know? That's, that's delicious. Exactly. It's like to give people like another idea, right? Yes. To use it. All right, we only have a minute left. Okay. Let's get to spicy skinny margarita. All right, so we have our uh, silver tequila. Right here. Uh huh. There Got it. Go. Silver tequila. Then we're going to have uh, a little, just a little touch of triple sec. And you know it. Oh, I love that triple okay. sec. Okay, some orange juice. Orange juice. Fresh. Fresh. Yeah, some fresh uh, lime juice. Got it. 
And a little touch of uh, agave syrup. Agave syrup, and then you when know, do we... And of course, your saran peppers, right, okay. to make it spicy. And the peppers, I'll let you do the shake, shake, shake. All right. And our last 30 seconds. seconds. And as she go. is doing that, notice how we yeah. have the rim, guys, all you do. Yeah, and that's uh, dry peppers with uh, some uh, uh, dehydrated lime. Look at that. There Ready? There you go. Fantastic. There you go. Here, you try. There you yes. go. Chef. Mm. Salud. Salud. Mm. Happy Hispanic month. Yes. All right, let me. Mm, mm, mm. You want to try this one? <laughs> Wait, this is different from that? Strong? No. No. Mm. Salud. Oh, that's so good. Wow, that's a good kick. We're going to have these recipes up on our website a little bit later today. And please make sure to tell everyone uh, where to follow you. Oh, well. Um, at uh, Lucero Hot Salsa, and we're also with uh, Taqueria La Luz, and we're also like part of the family of uh, the Martinez family from Zocalo Restaurant. All right, and we'll make sure we put that on our Facebook page so you guys can get this. Okay, you won't want to miss it. And